Hey guys, um, I finally got a chronograph. This is a shooting crony uh, F1. Um, I have a slightly new arrangement. Hope you can see a little bit of this. Um, the valve, the slide valve now comes out in front of um, the QEV, whereas before it used to be behind. Uh, I'm working on some modifications to this. I'm going to add a bigger tank and a, a different pressure regulator and stuff like that. But anyway, finally got this crony. This tank is pumped up and regulated to about 300 psi. Uh, so I figured. I would take a shot over the crony. This will be my first time doing it, and we'll see what kind of feet per second we're getting. Um, I shouldn't need the diffusers on the crony, they're not on right now. It's an overcast, slightly day, so they claim I shouldn't need them. Um, but anyway, let me take a shot over this and we'll see once and for all what kind of uh, feet per second that this gun is shooting at. So let me get this set up and we'll go from there. Alright, so there's a couple shots. We're down to 240 psi now, and that's why it's uh, frames or feet per second are dropping off. So we'll take one more here. Alright, I lied. I'll take one more. I think we're probably going to be at about. Yeah, we're at 210 PSI now. Alright, so there you have it for the time being. I'm going to go fill this thing back up to a little over 300 and we'll take a couple more shots and just see what, what we can get out of it. So. All right, guys, gun's back up to just over 300. I think it's about 310. Um, I think this thing could handle a lot higher PSI. The issue is that um, uh, the slide valve gets really hard to press when it gets over 300. So uh, I'll have to figure something out for that, probably add a lever to it or something, give it a little more mechanical uh, advantage over it. But uh, anyway. Like I said we're up to uh, we're up to about 310 uh, so we'll take one or two more shots here and just see kind of what our average is and uh, then I'll probably bring out the big gun and see what kind of uh, damage that thing does all right so there you go uh, now I want to show you kind of the damage it was doing to this uh, AC condenser here. Uh, these are the shots. Um, let's take a look at that. So it looks like, uh, let's turn this thing around here.
it looks like oh, I, there might be a little piece of twisted lead inside this one um, but it looks like a couple of those looks like this top one up here this one for sure this bottom one looks like those three made it through and if we look at our board here we do have a couple areas where it looks like it went through oh yeah and here's the marks from the lead this one as well it was the the nastiest of them but there's the lead yeah look at that it rubs right off so a couple of them made it all the way through the ac condenser through this thin board and then uh all the way through so anyway um that'll be it for this small event i guess it'll probably uh do a video here of uh, the large gun too, probably at about whatever, 5 or 600 PSI, and we'll see what that thing is capable of. So anyway, stay tuned for that, and uh, then we'll be, uh, that'll be it for today. So yeah. Hey guys, I got the, uh, the big gun loaded up here. We're at uh, about 420 PSI, the compressor hasn't been run in a while, so it uh, didn't like getting up to the 6-ish that it normally can. Um, I'll probably try back later to get a little higher uh, PSI in this gun. Uh, but for now, we're at 420 PSI. Uh, we got the 5.2 gram steel ball bearing loaded up. And uh, we'll see what she does with the adjustable power setup. The power is set up so that it uh, should be at more or less max power. Um, for this adjustable power setup, I could make one that has a larger volume in the chamber that would uh, potentially give more power. But uh, anyway, enough of my talking. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, we'll take a shot here and see what kind of frame, uh, feet per second we're actually getting out of this at 420 PSI. Like I said, the max I take this gun up to is about 600, so we will be shy of what it's actually capable of. And also, I don't know um, if the volume of my adjustable uh, chamber here is uh, adequately set up. Like I said, I think I can go bigger on that and probably get a little more power out of it, but this will be my first time shooting this over a chrony, so um, let's see what it does. And of course it didn't even show the register, but it left a pretty nice uh, hole there, so um, let's try again here. Maybe this time we can get it where it wants it. There we go, 535. Um, we're at, uh, we're already down to 250 PSI, so we've already dropped quite a bit. Um, we'll take one more though. And an error. Um, this looks like I need to kind of work on uh, aiming this across where it wants to go. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we were at about 525 uh, feet per second when we were um, when we were at about probably 350 PSI, so not too bad. Um, let me try and get this gun pumped up a little bit more and hopefully get the, uh, well, you know what, I'll, I'll get a picture of the damage here is what this uh, thing is capable of. It around 500 feet per second. Um, let's hold on here just a second. So there we are, here's our three shots that we took. I might have taken four, I don't remember. Um, let's see what, what it all did here. So there it is, all the way through. Pretty nasty. Uh, here we got one ball bearing stuck in there. Looks like it almost came out. We'll pry that one out. Here's a ball bearing laying here. And I don't know. I don't know where the other ones are. But yeah, that's probably going to be it for today unless I get this thing pumped up a little bit more um, and hopefully flying more true over the crony. But uh, otherwise, yeah, that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for more. Thanks.